Hi everyone. I'm out here and I have my rock tumbler. I'm going that I purchased. This is it right here. And what I like about it as well is it, it says your purchase has purpose. And then look at this. It says when you shop with us, you help further the work of our scientists, explorers and educators around the world. So, I bought this kit. I wanted to, to show my little niece um, well, I wanted to show, like, all of my nieces this and my nephew. Basically, the different types of rocks that there is out there. The tiger eye rocks look really cool. You have to see it in person to like, to appreciate them. Jasper. This is an aventurine. And other things. Um, so like, I just started running mine yesterday, um, but I encourage everyone to buy one of these. Uh, mainly because, well, I have a lot of rocks. This one I found at the beach. It looks like a heart. And it looks super, super cool. When it's, um, like, has that wet look to it. And that, and it's shaped out of, it's shaped like a heart.
It's a real rock. This one is super cool. I found this one. That rock is like the 101 Dalmatian dogs. I have these rocks up here. Some more up there. And this one. I have some more in here. And it, if we can polish those up, they'll look super nice. Check this one out. And then everyone already knows the, the five-pointed stars that I made. I basically purchased a mold and then I poured the concrete. Um, and they are the same type of stars that you will find. Ah, that you will see. In the United States flag. Five pointed stars. <sighs> but yeah. I love rare earth elements. I actually just purchased the necklace as well. But it wasn't the one that I wanted. The one I wanted was much thicker than this. It's all black. And then I take off my shirt. See? You can see it. It looks really nice. But the one I wanted is much thicker, more durable, more stronger. But I like it though because it's super shiny. And I bought this at Walmart. Um, but I just got a thinner one. And I wanted... I want the thicker one, not this one. This one's nice and everything, but 
I'm going to return it. FedEx. So I'm going to be returning it. And basically, I have to reorder the other one that I want. And then I need to take this one back. Oh, and <clears throat> I, I even purchased these little hearts, I mean these little roses, and these little roses here I bought through Alibaba, and they glow in the dark. And basically is a chain necklace and it has a little cork this is a baby blue one and they do glow in the dark Pink one. White one. And the blue one. And they're super, super shiny. They have little diamonds. I think these would be great in a vehicle to hang down from or to hang on. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, purchase these things. I really like them. I do like them. I actually put them up on Let Go. No, Offer Up. And rocks are everywhere. There's other YouTube videos where people actually go out to. They go out in nature to the beach, to the desert. They, when they go hiking. And they just keep their eyes open for specific type of rocks and then they bring them home and they run it they run them through the tumbler the rock tumbler it's super easy to use as a matter of fact I came up with an idea to use nothing but salts like sea salt but in its basically what I imagined was getting 
like a gallon of water, filling it up with a bunch of salt, and then filling it with water. Once it's all concentrated, that concentration, that concentrated water, what is the other spot? That concentrated water can then be added into the batch, into the tumbler barrel, along with salt that has not been diluted into the water. That way the salt could actually act as the agitate to smooth the stones like in the ocean naturally without having to purchase the agitate itself. So if you're a rock tumbler fanatic or fan, I would recommend for you guys out there to experiment on this idea to see if it will even work. And then if it works, then you'll be able to swap out the water like every because it's it's programmed you could do it you could have it running for a certain amount of days see right there it says days and then it says the speed see that so technically you know you could run it for like five days or even a week straight you can set an a, an alert a reminder on your phone and then just leave it running and then when that time comes you can swap it out and then make a new batch of concentrated water with either sea salt or Regular salt, possibly even sugar crystals will probably work, but I'm not sure. But it's all about experimenting and having fun. Oh, the cat is hungry. Uh, anyways, I gotta go. Anyways, I just wanted to share this with everyone. God bless.